Earlier today, I was at the Young African Leaders Initiative Presidential Summit, where a group of about 500 young African leaders between the age of 25 and 35 got to hear from President Barack Obama, Secretary of State John Kerry, and a panel of congressional representatives. There was a ton of energy in the room. Huge cheers went up when Obama entered, nearly a deafening roar and lasted for quite a few minutes. Certainly probably one of the better receptions he's received lately. He made several announcements at this event. For this fellowship, there were about 50,000 applicants and they could only bring 500 people. So one of the commitments he made is by 2016 that there will be a thousand Yali Fellows. He also renamed the fellowship after Nelson Mandela because as he said, the spirit of the program reflects his activism, idealism, and belief in the endless heroism of youth. He made a couple other, other big announcements about some public-private partnerships that are bringing together partners like the MasterCard Foundation and Microsoft, who along with USAID, which is making a $38 million commitment, are going to build four regional leadership centers in Ghana, Kenya, Senegal, and South Africa to serve as hubs for young African leaders to come together to get additional leadership training, to have some entrepreneurial skills training, and to have a place to network. And finally, he also made an announcement uh, that for the first time ever, the Global Entrepreneurship Summit is gonna be held in Sub-Saharan Africa in 2015. Uh, that definitely elicited a round of cheers from the audience. And they also had an opportunity to really engage with the president asking a number of interesting and critical questions about his commitment to gender equality, uh, asking a question about the role of the G7 in forgiving debt and whether that could allow African governments to have a better opportunity to uh, pay for some of the critical services for their citizens. One of the last questions fittingly was about what he would do to sort of promote the role of youth in building these countries' futures next week at the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit. And he said that, you know, while he will certainly bring this up with the African leaders who are expected to be here next week, uh, he also sees it as a key role of these young people who have spent the last six, seven weeks here in the U.S to go back and serve this critical advocacy role to create the change that they see necessary to build you know, strong, sustainable futures for their countries. Stay tuned to devx.com for more coverage of the US-Africa Leaders Summit next week.